Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Prapanna, a practicing hair restoration surgeon at Vcraft Cosmetics and Hair Implantation in Kormangla, Bangalore. Long hair transplantation is the modification of follicular unit transplantation surgery. It means the transplantation of follicular units with long hair shafts that is 3 to 8 cm in length and not with short hairs trimmed up to 2 mm. During hair transplant procedures like follicular unit extraction and follicular unit transplantation, the implantation of grafts are done according to the doctor's experience and preoperative planning, density and angle of recipient sites depends on the surgeon's decision. Then, surgical assistants implant the grafts in the pre-prepared slits or use implanters from where the hairs start to grow after about 3 months. Long hair transplant allows the patient to see the long hairs being transplanted into the recipient site that is the bald areas immediately and the hairs are placed in the specific direction and angulation. But this is only temporary as these hair also start to shed after a couple of weeks after the transplant. The presence of blood clots in the transplanted area may not be present in long hair transplant and the patient would be better presentable post-operatively. The other advantages of long hair transplant are better precision in angulation, direction and density in the transplanted area, estimation of the required density of the transplanted hairs in individual patients depending on their case. Now the disadvantages of long hair transplant are stability of the long hair shafts that are transplanted into the bald areas. The long hair grafts need to be well secured to make sure that they do not get dislodged during the initial days after the transplant. Next, the presence of a linear scar as it would be seen which is similar to follicular unit transplantation surgery. A linear scar on the side or back of the head may not be acceptable to certain cases. But due to trixotrifid closure, the scar at the back is sometimes less noticeable. 